What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. Alongside yesterday's gameplay trailer, a ton of screenshots containing a lot about these new games are revealed, so let's go ahead and analyze them. Now let's start off with Horde Battles. Horde Battles was a 5 on 1 battling system introduced in X and Y where one of your Pokemon had to fight off against 5 others. Not only did it add a twist to the game, but it was a really effective way of EV training and hunting shiny Pokemon. These Horde Battles also make a return in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire alongside Trainer Horde Battles where 5 trainers will fight you at the same time. Now that is epic! Remember in X and Y where we had to sit there fighting a bunch of Team Flare grunts one by one just to get by? Imagine how much less boring and more epic it would be to just fight them all at the same time. Even though the five trainers seem to only use one Pokemon that is much under level to make the battle even, there are so many variations that can be done with this and it was something that definitely needed to be added. They then reveal a ton of information on Pokemon Contests, now known as the Pokemon Contest Spectacular. Now you can participate in contests with your friends through communication features and possibly even compete on making Pokeblocks together, but I'll get to that in a minute. You're introduced to Pokemon Contest by Alicia, the number one contest star in the Hoenn region who performs with her partner Alteria. She also gives you special clothes that you can wear in Pokemon Contests. But the fact that we're getting special outfits are making fans believe that there may not be character customization in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And from how things are going so far, I think they're right. We may not be able to customize our characters in these games, but we still don't know for sure yet. But anyway, if you look closely at her blue hairpin, you'll notice she carries a keystone, and with Mega Evolutions and Contests being confirmed, it's obvious that you'll compete against her at one point and she'll use her Mega Altaria against you. Considering she's like the champion, but for contests, it's safe to assume that she will be one of the contestants in the Master Rank Contest, as if those contests weren't hard enough already. But there's actually speculation going on about Lycia and Wallace. Lycia, bearing resemblance to Wallace with their eyes, hair, and overall look is being speculated as the daughter of Wallace, as Wallace is apparently a Pokemon Contest Master as well, according to the anime. It's speculated that if she has a Keystone and is related to Wallace, then Wallace should have one as well. That logic is just weird, but I do believe that Wallace will have a Mega Pokemon on his team. Wallace is apart from other gym leaders, as he not only has the potential to be the champion of the region as seen in Pokemon Emerald, but also plays a big role role in the storyline, sort of like Corina in X and Y. Being such a significant character, I feel it makes sense for Wallace to carry a Mega Pokemon on his team. And I'm looking at you, Milotic. More information on the cosplay system with the 5 Pikachu outfits is also revealed. After participating in Pokemon contests, you'll soon be given a special Pikachu known as the Cosplay Pikachu, which can be distinguished from other Pikachu by the black tipped tail. This Pikachu, and only this Pikachu, can dress up in the different costumes we know, each to represent and become stronger in the different Pokemon contest categories. Their appearance changes, they can learn different moves, and can be used in battle. They're essentially a completely new Pokemon. As of now, we don't I don't know if these different outfits can give the cosplay Pikachu different base stats, but it's possible. With Pokemon contests making a return, it only makes sense that the Pokeblock system also be returning. Just like we know it, berries are placed into a berry blender and are grinded by playing the little minigame to make Pokeblocks, which can increase your Pokemon's performance in the different contest categories. It's almost like super training your Pokemon, but instead with the 5 contest areas. Here we can see the party selection screen and just like the Pokedex, it's a perfect remake of the original screen from Ruby and Sapphire. But anyways guys, that's it for everything revealed so far. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think about what was revealed, from trainer horde battles to Pokemon contests and everything else revealed in these last couple days. If you want to stay updated on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire content, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the coverage. If you missed the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage from yesterday, go ahead and check out the video on the left. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want to be alerted each time I upload a video.